What's up y'all, Quentin here with Catfish Karma and in today's video, a fishing challenge of sorts, we're gonna be using Pam cooking spray to catch a big old catfish. Let's do this. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It has been some time since I've put out any catfish content. Well today, that's what we're doing. Now, gimmicky bait videos are not are not my, my normal thing, but uh, I don't know, I've been fishing a lot lately and haven't put out any videos, so I wanted to do something, I don't know, creative, a little bit different, a little bit out there. And um, over the years I've had several people ask me about cooking spray and whether or not uh, it's a good fish attractant. And then a friend of mine, uh, Chris Flores of Muddy River Catfishing, he did a fish attractant video with WD-40. But the, the thing with that video is there's some questions about whether or not it's okay to put WD-40 in the water because it's petroleum based. But this, safe for human consumption, super oily, it's got a flavor. This one is, I guess it's butter flavored. Anyway. We're gonna try it out and we're gonna be somewhat scientific. We're gonna do three different phases to the test. We've actually already shot phase one and two and we're about to do phase three right now. I'm gonna show you phase one, then phase two, and we'll cut back to what's about to happen. Phase three, that's the real test. That thing. Yeah, that's the real thing. What we're about to do is a bit goofy. We're gonna find out if it works. You guys enjoy phase one and two. Stick around for phase three because it's gonna get interesting. Pam cooking spray. Can you catch catfish on it? Let's do this. All right, y'all, check it out. This is phase one to our little test here, and we've got a specific objective. This is our first drift of the morning, and what we want to accomplish is quickly finding out whether or not this Pam cooking spray is going to cost us a good day's fishing. I don't want to lose a whole day of quality fishing just to make this video, so we want to increase the odds that the Pam cooking spray uh, can catch fish. We want to prove that it's not a deterrent. So what we've done is all four of our rods have bait that's soaked in the Pam cooking spray. Uh, we figure in a drift or two, if we don't have fish, that tells us the Pam cooking spray is a problem and it's gonna cost us. So if that's the case, then the challenge is over. But if we catch a few fish on it, we can move on to phase two uh, of this little project. Conditions right now, we're fishing uh, just off of a sandbar, which is over this way. We've got a planer board out, we're, we've got a, a, a bait close to the bottom on this other side rod, and then James and I are both running these bumping rods. Uh, we are 56 feet deep, we started off uh, like 10 feet deep, you know, just kind of running a roller coaster bottom here. Uh, we've seen what, 60 feet? So 60 64. Feet, 64 feet, so it's, it's a nice erratic bottom. That rod's hung up, we'll see if it pops loose. Uh, and we've got baits out in a variety of, of ways, so I'll get it, I'll get it. If I got fish, I did, I did. <laughs> you did? Yeah, he was hanging on to it. And then... Well, James had a bite, and we got one rod hung up. I believe I got all of it. I think we're fine. I've always had trouble. I got a bite. Yeah, I got a bite. I got a bite on the pan, folks. I think it's a small fish just playing with it. I think I might have got the hook in him. I got a hook in one on the Pam. That's a good sign. Y'all saw me uh, giving that fish time because I thought it was a little guy fiddling with it, so I gave it a lot of time. 
Well, turns out he was swallowing the bait. So we didn't get him cooked, hooked in the corner of the mouth. So I'm just gonna let him have that hook and hope that it comes out and he does okay. 26. 26? Yeah. Now look at that. It's gonna look small with that camera pointing down. But... Woo, woo, woo. Uh oh, baby he's got some gas. He's been drinking beer. He chewed mine up. I swear he had a hold of it. Yeah. He just didn't get the hook. All right, so one one fish doesn't really prove anything. So we're going to keep doing the exact same thing. Pam on all our baits. See if we can make that happen a couple more times, and then we'll move on to phase two. All right, y'all. So I thought I'd show you exactly how we're doing this. I didn't want to... I didn't want to contaminate my cutting board with this Pam, not knowing, like I said, whether or not it was going to be a problem. And so what we've been doing is we've just been cutting up a little bit of bait at a time and then spraying all of it just and leaving it here in this bowl. Uh, that way we don't contaminate the board and it has a chance to actually sit on here. Uh, you know, kind of like marinating it, I guess you could say. I will say this, the bait is definitely messier with that Pam cooking spray on there. It doesn't wash off as easy as just the the fish slime and, and blood does. So that's interesting. It, it uh, seems to linger. Keep our bait spread up. I got see that? that? That's a he may be on there, huh? I believe we got fish number two, folks, on the Pam cooking spray. We may be on to something. Now, I'm sure some of you are saying, oh, it's just because it's, you know, it's just their cut bait. We're gonna deal with that in phase two of this test. We went out this morning and we caught a variety of cut bait, so we're gonna use it all. We're gonna use Asian carp, shad, we've got white bass, skipjack, uh, we don't got no bluegill, do we? No. We, we got a bunch of stuff, though. And I must have a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to try Pam on all of it. And then we're also going to do some side-by-side -side comparisons in phase two, where some of it will have it and some of it won't. But right now, we've proved, I think we're proving that it's not a deterrent. It's wrapped up. Small fish wrapped up. There we go. Fish number two. Pam cooking spray. All right, y'all. We've uh, made it to the end of this drift. It's getting a little too fast down here, so we're going to move back up closer to that sandbar and uh, repeat the process and hopefully get at least a couple more fish for this phase of the test. Stick with us. Yeah, I think you just turned her in a little bit. I did. Towards the uh, bank, because you got current down here. See the current Oops. moving? There, there's one. I don't know if they're messing with the graph. Catch up. All right. Uh, fish number three. Pam cooking spray. Kind of caught me off guard. I was up there screwing around with the grass. Fish number three. Pam cooking spray. Careful stuff, slide plumb out of my mouth. The hook won't see. <laughs> That's all right. This is this is what that cooking spray looks like when it sets up on the bait. I don't know if y'all can see the foaminess to it, but it's interesting. Uh oh. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What are you doing over here, James? Look at that. Could it be fish number four? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Did you get it? Oh, no. Oh, you he, thought you lost it? No, he's still there. I thought I lost it. <laughs> I thought you did, too. <laughs> Uh -oh. I thought I jinxed him. Yes, sir. There we go. Look at here, y'all. Fish number four on the Pam cooking spray. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to finish out this drift before moving on to the next phase of this experiment. What is it? An experiment? A test? A challenge? What is it, James? I would say an experiment. Experiment. Yeah. We're, we're, we're just trying it to see if it works. We're going to move on to phase two of this experiment, but we're going to finish this drift. Maybe get another fish or two. Maybe not. Who knows? But we got four on Pam cooking spray. We're, we'll probably fish for a lot longer in the next phase. And some of our baits will have the cooking spray and some won't. We got a bite right here. Is he there? I don't know. Yeah, it's there, James. Get to work. Oh, man. I think it's there, ain't it? I don't know. We'll see. I hope he's not tied up. There's a big like sinker on there. I don't feel. Yeah, I... yeah they're there. Yeah, yeah there's something there. There's a lot of line out there. I don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh, monster! Look at that big monster! Monster! Woo! <laughs> look at look that! At that. He's about the size of the can. Woo! Hey! By the way, Pam did not <laughs> did not sponsor this video. <laughs> I went to the grocery <laughs> store and bought this. <laughs> Simply because it had been recommended. People had asked me, you know, have you ever tried cooking spray? That's the only reason. That Maybe they'll give us a million dollars when this video goes up. You think? Will they give us three dollars? All right, y'all, check this out. We are starting phase two of the video. And as you can see, I've got baits soaked in Pam. Or I guess you can see it. They're soaked in Pam. I've got baits that aren't soaked in Pam. And that's how we're going to set this, this phase up. We're going to have half our rods with and half our rods without the attractant known as Pam cooking spray. So uh, we're gonna kind of take turns, James and I, you know, half the time he'll he'll have the spray and you know, part of the time I'll have it and we'll update you guys and we'll see how the score works out. Yeah, I'll try to go inside that food. Yeah, we got one here. Oh yeah? All right, y'all, check it out. We've, we're now over halfway down this third pass, okay? Our third time to go over this specific line. And our only bite has been on pan. We got out two rods with, two rods without. And Pam is winning. That's interesting. I gotta buy it and this is without them. So maybe I spoke too soon. Here we go. And he put it down. Apparently he heard that there's something better out there. Something real slippery. <laughs> It's got another one. I don't know if he's on there. So I've had two bites over here without Pam. James has had now. Yeah, you got it, don't you? Yeah. He's another right. little one. James has hooked up with his second one of this drift with the Pam. Thank you, man. 
name today is a little cat. Little cat. Little cat. All right, y'all. We made a, a long, slow, pretty thorough pass on that one. And uh, two fish on Pam. And I think two or three bites on the baits without Pam. But they weren't committed bites. They dropped it. Now, everything we're using is good, fresh bait. There's nothing wrong with our bait without Pam, but that's just that's just the way it worked out. So what we're going to do, we're going to move a little bit. We're going to get out off this sandbar. We're going to make another drift. Same deal. Half of it with Pam, half of it without. We're going to try to catch some bigger fish. All right, we're getting all our baits dropped. We've got... The two side rods out again. James is probably already on bottom. Mine's making its way to the bottom. We're gonna be fishing mostly about 60 feet deep on this drift. A uh, little bit different bottom out here. A little bit of mud, not so much just sand like at the other spot. First fish of the day without Pam. Woo! And it hit hard. Uh oh. Okay. Yup. First fish of the day without Pam, folks, right here. This would be, I think, about the fourth or fifth bite of the day with no Pam. But we've got, are we at six fish with Pam? At least six, I think it's seven, I think. I believe I've got that other line. Shoot. Oh, he swam way, he swam way over there. Okay, I'll give you slack or whatever you need. Yeah. He dove, he dove real deep and then he took off toward the bank. He's going deep again. Yeah, I feel it. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Have you got him that close? Huh? No. No, no he I dove. didn't think it did. He dove again. I wonder if I would go to your side since he's deep. See if he can. Or wait, would it be better for you to come to uh, Wait a minute. Yeah, you come to my side. Go all. Okay. No, you. Yeah, you'll have to go. All right, I got it. He's going down again, so we got time. Okay. That dude wants to be onto the boat, don't he? Yeah, he does. He's probably worship for the sun. I bet you can figure out, if you can see it, you probably can move that rod around. I it. think, right here, I think. Let me go off the top uh -huh. of you. Let's see if that's it. All right. I thought that. See that, see that, folks? That's why I brought him. He's a professional at that. Little kitty. Yeah. He'll go ten at least. Oh won't. yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Good job, sir. All right, Leroy. Oh. Mm. Yes, sir. Woo! Thank you, sir. That is a dandy. <laughs> that fish is in the forties. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how close to the bottom it was. I don't have a clue. 
because I reeled in a bunch. <sighs> Take the net away, 42 pounds. 42. Yeah, about 10. There you go, y'all. First fish of the day without Pam. A little skinned up from being in two lines, but still a pretty fish. Happy to have it on the boat here. Put it back. Yeah. Put it back and let Catfish Dave come up here and catch him. Yeah. <laughs> He's all the help he can get. He's always complaining about something. <laughs> all right, in case y'all missed it, James had his bumping rod just hanging out in the water while he was helping me with that fish. It was just kind of flailing around back there up off the bottom and got that one on Pam. So that's like number eight. We're about eight to one, Pam to not. All right, let's get back at it. <sighs> Black and white, like a cop's car. I think that's now eight to one with Pam in the lead. Oh, he's got a lot of leeches on him. I think it's time to move on to phase three of this experiment. I'll show you guys that in just a second. All right, y'all, it's time for the third and final phase of this experiment. Phase one, uh, you know, we, we proved that the Pam wasn't going to keep us from catching fish. Phase two, we fished it against cut bait without Pam. And basically what we found is, at least today, the Pam was catching as many fish or more as fast or faster. I mean, really, it was more and faster yeah. than yeah. without. We have. We've got... Yeah like seven or eight fish with Pam, one without. Yeah, I think that's right. We got a big one. No more than two. I mean. So yeah, as you can see, we're not, we're not exactly what you call scientific scholars. We don't have it, we haven't, we haven't tracked this exactly. But let me show you what's gonna happen because in phase three, we're gonna be real scientific. We're gonna eliminate the variable. James, where's your hook? Get your hook. Right here. We're going to eliminate the variable. Check it out. No cut bait whatsoever. Where's my Pam? Are you in a Pam? Pam I am. Will it work? I don't know. But I'm not going to... Well, I guess it don't matter. We've proved it. It's going to catch fish, but I don't know. I don't want to spray it all over the motor. I'm going to put it down here. And I'm going to cover this rag. One thing about it, it won't come off. Yeah, I'm going to work it in with my fingers. Yeah, I know the rag is touching the bowl of cut bait, but, you know, if you're that picky, you're on the wrong channel. Rag covered in Pam. James, I shall Pam you. Work it in a little bit. There you go, folks. Variable eliminated. Pam on a white dish rag. Or fishing rag, fishing towel. We're gonna to pull back out to our drift. We're gonna drop these rags. We're gonna see what happens. Let's do this. Go, man, go! <laughs> there you go, y'all. Fishing rags covered in Pam going to the bottom. This is the same drift as the, uh, the last two fish. We're in a little bit closer to the bank because we got a, a barge coming down, but essentially the same drift, pretty close anyway. Dude, I just got bit for real. You did? Yeah, I know for sure I got bit right there. I think I got it. I think I got a fish on the rag, y'all. Did you put it down? Oh, too soon, put it down. <laughs> well, I thought it was about to happen. 
he might be down there going, <coughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I guess this is as good a time as any to mention if you guys have enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like it or maybe some more traditional fishing videos make sure to like this video with that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel maybe hit the notification bell so that you don't miss future uploads and a good donation to the channel every once in a while wouldn't hurt either <laughs> You know, don't be so damn tight. Yeah. Send him a hundred bucks every now and then for his trouble. Why not two hundred? Yeah, well, you know, you get enough people sending a hundred. That's yeah, enough. Don't be greedy. Up. Maybe add up, I guess. You know. 62 feet, 1.4 mile an hour. Dude, I, I get, look, 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 look. I wish I wouldn't have moved that camera. They're never gonna believe me. I moved that freaking camera and then got bit. Look at say he changed it. He changed it. Y'all, yeah. I did <laughs> I've just took the first one on the dish rag. Yes, I just moved I've literally moved the camera while drifting. You're never gonna believe me, but you you just gotta try. If I get this fish in, we'll do another one. Catch another one on the dish rack. I'm gonna put this in the rod holder and I'm gonna put that camera back so I can see his neck. Got a zippy? Yeah, it's alright as well. It's not a big one, but you know, it's on the dish rack. I gotta land it. As an added bonus, the rag stays on the hook good when you catch a fish. So I'll use the same one again. I'll just put more Pam on it. There you go, folks. Another one on the Pam. This one with a whole bunch of leashes on him. We haven't proved that the Pam will catch giants because it hasn't caught the biggest fish, but it has caught a lot of fish. Big Cat has done it, y'all. He's hooked up with a fish on the dish rag. Pay him in a dish rag. Who'd have thunk it? What's he weigh again? Uh, 15. Maybe 20. Well, that's how you know Big Cat's not as professional as me. He let his fish throw that rag off the hook, so he's got to have another rag. My, my fish, yeah, I kept my rag. I'm surprised the rag's not on the hook. Well, you got to be professional. Woo! Boy, he's a pretty thing. Yeah, yeah. What? 15? 16? I don't know. 12? Ah, boy. If we do this, he's 15. <laughs> Yours. Alright. We're going to call it right there, folks. We have proved that Pam cooking spray, of all things, not only does it not turn the fish off, but it works quite well. That is, what, like 10 to 1? Yeah. That is about 10 to 1 of Pam versus standard cut bait. It's super slippery, guys. Uh, that is one downside. It does stay on your hands pretty bad. It's going to stay on your cutting board. But I guess that's not a bad thing, maybe. I mean, if you're catching fish, you're catching fish. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, we're going to spend the rest of the day just catching fish. I don't know. We might, might shoot another challenge. Who knows? Stick around. Tune into the next one. Thanks for watching.